Hi. Hi, folks. Hi. The lies that took place in our nation's capital of D.J., United States of America, the 6th of January, they're being labeled it was an insurrection and the coup d'etat. Huh? There was no insurrection. There was no overthrow of the government. Nor was it an attempt to overthrow the government. And there was no coup because, once again, the government was not overthrown. But here's what it was, folks. I want you to realize this or think about this. Every time in the past when there's been a pro-Trump rally or event in the Washington, D.C., or a conservative event on the periphery, the outer edges of these demonstrations or rallies was BLM and Antifa picking off the people as they were going home. How come we didn't see that this past January, uh, January 6th when that uh, so-called lie took place at the Capitol? How come when President Trump was finished with his speech and the people left, how come BLM and Antifa was not picking up people on the periphery? Where were they? It wasn't that the mayor of Washington told them, stay home, because they were in the crowd masquerading as Trump supporters to stop the trouble at the Capitol building. That's what this was all about. What's also telling is the attack upon the Capitol building started 20 minutes before President Trump started his speech. So how are you going to blame him for what took place 20 minutes before he even opened his mouth? Then different law enforcement agencies in Washington and around Washington knew what was going to take place, offered to send in reinforcements, and the Capitol Police turned them down. Now, isn't that curious as to them turning down additional help, knowing there was going to be trouble? It was all planned to stop the discussion taking place in Congress and in the Senate in reference to the election, also to tar Trump's legacy. That's what this is about. Immediately it became an insurrection, and immediately it was his words that caused them to react that way when they reacted prior to him saying those words. <laughs> As Paul Harvey would say, now you know the rest of the story. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. You have one foot over the line right now. A line that you do not want to cross. You are normalizing violence. <laughs>